Here's what Pope Francis had to say about the Synod of Synodality upon his return from Mongolia. At his press conference Monday upon his return from Mongolia, Pope Francis described his vision for the upcoming Synodal Assembly in October. It should be, he said, an exercise in prayer and a dialogue free of ideologies, not political talk like on television programs. In the Synod there is no place for ideology, Pope Francis told reporters. In the Synod there is no place for ideology, there is room for dialogue. To confront each other, among brothers, and to confront the doctrine of the Church, he added. The pontiff stressed the unique spiritual dimension of the First World Assembly of the Synod on Synodality, which will be held at the Vatican from October 4 to 28. He noted that he wants it to be a religious moment. He stressed that the Synodal Assembly will have three to four minutes of silent prayer between discussions, and stressed that this prayerful atmosphere should be what distinguishes a Synodal Assembly from parliamentarism. Without this spirit of prayer there is no synodality, it is politics, it is parliamentarism, the Pope stressed. There is one thing we must take care of, the synodal climate, he added. The synod must not be like a television program where everything is talked about, the Holy Father explained, but a dialogue among the baptized. The synod is dialogue among the baptized, among members of the church, about the life of the church, about dialogue with the world, about the problems that affect humanity today, he said. The Pope pointed out as an example the experience of synodality in the Eastern churches, the Church of the East has always had it. But how to live synodality? It is to live it as a Christian. And, as I said before, without falling into ideologies. He was also asked about a recently published book with a foreword by U.S. Cardinal Raymond Burke that compared the Synod on Synodality to opening Pandora's box. In response, the Pope recalled how some women religious had also expressed their fears about the Synod to him, saying they feared changes in church doctrine. The successor of Peter pointed out that at the root of these kinds of ideas about synodality are always ideologies, adding that it is ideologies that are responsible for dividing the faithful. He explained that ideologies are a doctrine in quotation marks, that they are like distilled water, without taste and that they are not true Catholic doctrine. And that so often scandalizes, as it scandalizes the idea that God became flesh, that God became man, that the Virgin preserved her virginity. That scandalizes, the Pope affirmed. The Pope also stressed that the news about the Synod should not be read as political palaver, adding that the Information Commission has the task of transmitting the ecclesial spirit, not the political one. He also asked that they should not forget that the protagonist of the Synod is the Holy Spirit.